Good afternoon and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. The reading for this coming Sunday, Pentecost Sunday from the Old Testament, is from Numbers chapter 11 verses 24 through 30. And Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord and gathered the seventy men of the elders of the people and set them round about the tabernacle and the Lord came down in a cloud and spake unto him, and took of the spirit that was upon him, and gave it unto the seventy elders, and it came to pass, that when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied, and did not cease. But there remained two of the men in the camp. The name of the one was Aldad, and the other Medad. And the spirit rested upon them, and they were of them that were written, but went out not out unto the tabernacle, and they prophesied in the camp. And there ran a young man and told Moses, and said, Eldad and Medad do prophesy in the camp. And Joshua, the son of Nun, the servant of Moses, one of his young men answered and said, My Lord Moses, forbid them. And Moses said unto him, Envious thou for my sake? Would God that all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Lord would put his spirit upon them. And Moses gat him into the camp he and the elders of Israel. Here ends the reading. A lot could be said about the reading about the Holy Spirit coming upon us, but what struck me most was the young man who ran to Moses to tattle on the elders for daring to prophesy by the Holy Spirit in the camp instead of the tab tabernacle where Moses was, instead of their regular place of worship. How often do congregations think that the only place that the word of God should be proclaimed is in the church building and only by their designated pastor? How does a church grow like that? The members must, of course, be nourished, but they will grow old and die. And no one, new or very few, will actually have been reached in that manner. A few visitors may randomly show up, but from experience, I can tell you that unless they were raised in a church and regularly attend elsewhere, there won't be too many stopping by to hear the word. Someone, and not just a signed pastor, has to step out into the world and share the good news of Jesus Christ to give them hope, to give them wonder. Consider those adults who have never attended a church anywhere except for the rare wedding or funeral. What would it be like to walk in among people they may have known since childhood and not know what worship is all about? I will tell you how a couple of them that I had known were they were embarrassed and they had no clue about worship and they were wanted no one to know that they were not actually Christian because they knew nothing about Jesus. If you are a Christian, then you probably assume that most of your friends are also because, of course, you've never really talked about Jesus with them. You just assumed because they were pretty decent people, they must be Christians just like you. One of my congregations is very fortunate and that when we did invite people to come to worship and they came or a random stranger showed up for worship, one of our a bit older gentlemen made sure he welcomed them and then made sure he sat by them to explain the worship service in case they started getting confused as to what was going on. He wasn't assigned this position. He genuinely just walked up to them, welcomed them, because he cared that they would hear the word rather than be worrying about what was coming next in the service. The most important thing is hearing the word, whether it is during a worship service or outside worship. You do not have to be a pastor to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. All believers, all Christians are anointed by the Holy Spirit and by the Holy Spirit we are empowered to go out and share the good news with others. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we have too often neglected sharing the joyous news of what you have done for us through Jesus. Fill us with the Holy Spirit that our love for you will overflow and that we will joyously share the good news of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.